Uh, come in. Hey, dude. Hey, Sharon. I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, I didn't RSVP. I wanted to be a surprise. This is Beth, by the way. We're not great friends. She just didn't have anything else to do tonight. Oh, uh, great. Nice to meet you. I should warn you that I only eat local, macrobiotic, sustainably harvested fungus, um, sprouted grains, and free-range eggs from birds other than chickens. And I'm starving. I'll see what I can... We didn't bring anything, but we'll drink anything. <laughs> you get me? You know what, guys? I'm gonna go check on the playlist. <laughs> Hi there. You know, there's a whole lot more to being a good guest than simply showing up. Well, did we mention that we drink a lot, too? You did, actually. But there are a couple other things that I'd like you to bear in mind. For starters, you've got to RSVP. Planning a party is a ton of work. The last thing the host needs to worry about is who's coming, especially unannounced guests. You also want to ask if you can bring something. Hosting a party, if you've never done it, is a lot of work. You want to lighten the load of the host as much as you possibly can. And last but not least, ask if there's a dress code. Is there a dress code? Yeah, there is. So I have like six more dishes to make. You guys have fun and I'll be right here. Couple pointers for you too. So to be a good host means a whole lot more than running around your apartment like a free range chicken. You wanna be able to enjoy this party too and your guests wanna be able to enjoy you. A little bit of prep time in advance means less time in the kitchen, more time out enjoying the people who are there to see you. That way, when it's time to party, you can truly party. Wait, who are you again? Uh, this is apartment 3F, right? 3E. Oh, right. Cheers. <laughs>